Hi, it's Rosemary, and I wanted to share my first journal for Calico Collage. I use the Flowers and Lace uh, mini journal, so I came up with this one. This is seven and a quarter by five and a half. It's kind of a soft envelope, it's a soft cover, nothing, it's not like as thick as I usually make it. It's two signatures and it has 72 pages. Um, ribbon closure, um, it's sewn in, and this one, I got a new sewing machine. I, um, I got the same one that Daisy Collins got, and I'm loving it. So I sewed around the entire cover. Um, on the inside and out so you'll see and I've used a lot of little different things that I have been seeing a lot of other girls do with their journals so I have been really busy with this new sewing machine so paper is coffee dyed I have a lot of stamping there's a lot of ribbon uh, washi tape this is the paper double, I double uh, sided print it printed on everything to have the lines my stamping this is a beautiful flower stamp that I got and I think the majority of my stamps are from unity stamps this is a pocket that I made I sewed up so I had some cards and this is a I got a, an envelope of uh, ephemera from someone in the junk journals junkies group I don't know who sent it but thank you because I used it a lot I used it all on this so I dyed some paper, and here's one of the pages. I stitched that here, and then I made that little note pocket there. So I have that. And even with uh, my flower here, I sewed it in. So definitely using this machine on everything that I possibly can. So I have this. There's a stamp also. There's a little card. Stamp here with a doily. Here, I have to put the gems in the middle. I have that. I kind of like also the way the stamp comes on the other side. It kind of likes, you can see through it. So I have this, another card here, and then this opens up. This opens up this way. And also stitched on the corners. So I like that. Here's another one of the cards from the collection. And this is just a little note so you can journal. Another card, and I did the stitching around the card there. This also. That's the first signature, second signature. Pocket here, so I have this. And the stamp card. This is one, I like that stamp a lot. We have this, there's a couple of cards here. Just opens, and the paper's baked. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but just in case, I may have repeated that a few times. I have the card here, at the doily. And then here also. That's washi tape. I added ribbon. That's another one. It's a card. This is just paper that I dyed. And then I just fold it. I'm trying to use all, everything that I cut up. I'm trying to use it in the book. I'm trying to stay out of the... No, it's not going to look good. I'm just going to put it in. So, I'm trying to do that. So, there's another card here. And then just another dyed paper. And I didn't use a lot of color splash on this one, and that was really hard to do. But I wanted to keep it simple. There's a lot of journaling space. It's a ribbon closure, and then the back is also stitched around and also the inside cover. So I just wanted to share with you what I did for my first journal. I have another one coming soon. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you for coming by. Make it a great day. Bye.